Slippy was a totally awesome pet that PewDiePie got in 2016. Sadly, Slippy died in 2017 for unknown reasons. Don't know what happened. I was really trying my best to look after him, despite most of the information about toads is how to kill them. I want to change that today. Keep in mind that you can't know something until you know it. We're here to learn together. It's even harder to learn something when there's limited information available about that thing. I'm not a pet frog expert, but I know a lot about toads and frogs. He's so cute. <laughs> want to be gentle. I never hold one before. If you've seen other videos on this channel, you know why it's so important to wear gloves when handling frogs. The oils, dirt, and soap residue on our skin are terrible for them because they breathe and drink through their skin, which is really delicate, even for toads. Dry textiles may contribute to dehydrating them, like socks or hats. But it's also important for us to wear gloves to protect ourselves. I'll talk about poison later on, but toads and frogs can carry viral or bacterial diseases on their skin, such as salmonella. Now this doesn't mean you can't have a frog as a pet or you can't touch them. It just means that you should really wear gloves and wash your hands for your own and for the toad's safety. Where does it go wrong with Slippy shitting all the time? He shits all the time now. Toads can't talk, so they say things with their actions. And peeing on you means they are afraid and want to be put down. This is a common reaction for toads and frogs in the wild. They use this as a self-defense mechanism against predators. An animal that attempts to eat a toad probably doesn't want toad urine in its mouth and will probably let it go. So if a toad pees on you, just put it down and let it be. He's not pooping or anything. If you've already watched other videos on this channel, you know that the toad is trying to say something here with its body language. It may not be using self-defense mechanisms, but it is in a position of fear. Look at this first shot versus the second. If a toad is crouched all the way down to the ground like that, it is demonstrating fear. So maybe it kind of got used to the hat, but it was definitely afraid at the beginning. And in this case, it is just trying to escape. Remember, you don't know until you know, so it's really important to try to respect animals when to understand what they're trying to communicate to us. I have to wash my hands now because he is venomous. Also, if you lick Slippy, get that pie on. Is venomous? As in poison or I understand this is confusing, so let's break it down. So venomous applies to animals that are capable of secreting venom and injecting it into someone or something else by means of a bite or a sting. Toads don't secrete venom and they don't have any teeth, so they couldn't inject it even if they did. A hallucinogenic is a drug or substance that causes hallucinations, may also be known as a psychedelic. Some toad species like the Colorado River toad have secretions that can cause hallucinations, but it is illegal to possess these toads. And cane toads don't have the same active toxins as the Colorado River toad. Now a poisonous animal is an animal that's capable of secreting a toxin that can cause illness or death if taken into the body. May that be through the sinuses or the bloodstream. All toads have glands on their skin that can secrete poison. But the degrees of toxicity and the type depends on the type of toad. Now that you know this, here's why this is so confusing. Look at this article. It says that toads are venomous and we just proved that they aren't. There's a ton of misinformation out there. So don't believe everything you read. This channel is based on scientific research and in-field observations. So hit the subscribe button if you're interested in learning more about toads and frogs. So this is a cane toad. Let's cover some fun cane toad facts. Here's a close up of one so you can get a better look. They have a flat beak like nose and prominent ridges around their eyes. An infestation in Australia. These toads are invasive in Australia as well as many other countries around the world, including the United States in Florida, in Cuba, and in Japan. They were introduced to these areas in the 1930s to kill bugs that were eating the sugarcane crops. But the bugs went up in the crops and the toads don't go high enough. Toads don't climb very well, they don't jump very well. And so they weren't eating those bugs. They started eating all of the native species around these areas. They can get huge. They really can get huge. And that is a big problem for a lot of the places where they are invasive because they can eat large prey. That includes small alligators, small birds, snakes, and even bats. That's one of the reasons why they're proliferating so quickly. The fact that they're poisonous means that they have few predators and they can also lay up to 30,000 eggs twice a year. So they really are a problem in some places. And they live for like 10 to 15 years? In the wild, when well kept in captivity, they can actually live up to 40 years. As for keeping them as pets, like I said, I have no expertise in keeping a pet frog, but my intuition says that this enclosure might be too small, especially for an adult toad. I also know that toads burrow underground most of the day and only come out at night to hunt. And so I'm not sure if it had enough space to dig and hide in this enclosure. 
but comment below if you have more experience with this. We're all here to learn from each other. And in all honesty, yes, PewDiePie probably made a few mistakes, but I've made mistakes as well. When I was about six, I found a baby toad in my backyard. I was so excited about it, I put it in an empty aquarium outside in full sun. I actually left it for a very short while, but when I came back, it was dead. I still regret it today, but I didn't know, and now I do. And now that you know, share this video with other people so that we can all get a better understanding of how to interact with and respect frogs and toads. Check out this video to learn more about what toads are saying to you. I faced my fear today, guys. I love Slippy, he's so cute. I got Slippy as a joke. I didn't think I would actually care for the stupid toad, but I love that toad. Rest in peace, Slippy.